Hello all. Welcome to the Security Tube Metasploit Framework Addendum 1. In this video, we will begin with our Ruby Primer. This video is part of the Security Tube Metasploit Framework course and certification. For more information, please visit securitytube.net slash SMFE. Security Tube certifications are now taken by students from over 40 plus countries. I'd encourage you to visit our training portal and read the different testimonials given by our students. And this video is provided to you as part of Security Tube's vision to provide quality yet free infosec education for one and all. Okay, so the Ruby programming language. Now, as most of you know, the Metasploit framework is written entirely in Ruby, and that is the reason why uh, we should probably formally go through a Ruby primer so that we have more command over the language. Now, the whole idea is that if you know Ruby programming, you can write more advanced metapreter scripts, which can do a variety of tasks. Uh, before I begin, the important point I'd like to stress upon is that this is a quick getting started with Ruby hacker style primer and not really a detailed treatise on the Ruby programming language, right? However, whatever you're going to learn in the next couple of videos is more than sufficient for use with Metasploit and with the SMFE course and certification. Okay, so what do we plan to cover as part of this Ruby primer? So we look at very basic input output, reading writing from files, then move on to variables, classes, objects, what all of that means and how all of that comes together in Ruby and then different control structures, uh, loops, exceptional handling, threads and processes, how do you write simple scripts for automation, for networking, and a couple of other interesting things uh, which you could use along with Metasploit. Finally, we'll try and apply our newfound knowledge to writing different scripts in Metasploit. Okay, so this is the introduction video to the primer and as any of you who may have taken any programming language courses before would probably know we start with the customary hello world program right so let's begin you can try this on any uh, operating system which probably has ruby installed you could use backtrack any form of linux in this case i'm using my mac so there are two ways by which you can interact with the ruby interpreter the first being just by typing in IRB to get the Ruby shell. Now, uh, if you want to print hello world, all you have to do is print, type print, and then hello world, and there you go. Right? This is very simply how you can go ahead and print hello world using IRB or the interactive prompt. Now, if you want to write a formal script, let's create a script called hello world.rb. So Ruby files are suffixed with .rb, similar to how C files are suffixed with .c, uh, HTML with .html and so on and so forth. The first line is going to be the location of the interpreter. In our case, it's user bin Ruby. If you suspect this is wrong, you could just very quickly do a search Ruby or in this case, you could actually do a quick find Ruby or a locate Ruby, right? And you could actually end up getting a lot of responses or a simple, where is Ruby? Right, so we have user bin Ruby. Now, if you just simply want to print hello world, all you have to do is print hello world, right? 
that solves the rest of the problem. Uh, you probably want to change the file permissions so that it can become an executable and then you can execute it directly from the command prompt and there you go you have the print hello world getting printed onto the screen so this is how you can create a simple hello world program using ruby uh, that's all for this video. In the next video, we will actually go ahead and start with basic I.O. and look at variables, classes and objects. Thank you very much. Please visit the Security Tube Metasploit Framework Expert Course and Certification link. Uh, and we would welcome you to join our course with students from over 40 plus countries. Thank you very much. Have a great day ahead.